today's episode of Huber Syndrome, I once had a gambling problem. Hey everyone, welcome to the show. <laughs> Let, let's just get into this. So we're talking about the best uh, gambling in video games, but, but first it's time for a little trip down memory lane. It was high school. Like sophomore year, freshman year. So the poker boom, you know, this money maker, World Series of Poker, poker blowing up, no limit, who Texas hold them? You know, they started putting Texas hold them in every video game. Well, my friends and I, you know, we started small scale, like pennies and nickels. Well, what happens? What happens when you're with your buds? It, things escalate. So I, Started gambling, you know, things got a little, a little hairy, you know, we started, you know, 10 cent, 25 cent, 25, 50, like 50 cent blinds, man, that's no joke, you know, next thing you know, we're playing 50 cent, $1 games. It's out of control. Long story short, we used to host, straight up, we used to host underground card games in my buddy's garage, like... People would come, we don't even know you. We don't even know who you are and you're showing up to a home game, throwing out like 300 bucks on the table, like, all right, deal me in. Like, who are you? Who am I? Who are we to not even care? Uh, it just got really dicey, really sketchy. We used to go to the casino. Uh, we weren't old enough. I don't want to, I don't really want to say anymore, but, uh, you know, I've come out on the other end unscathed and I'm in a better place now. I'm older, wiser, and I can still gamble a little bit for fun. It's not crazy. I don't need to call any hotlines, you know, like I can still enjoy, you know, 50 bucks on the blackjack table, whatever. But, uh, for a little while there, it was kind of scary. So there's that story. I like getting personal with you allies because uh, we're family. But I want to talk about the best gambling in video games where it's nice and safe and easy going. First up, save the best for first. Lucky hit. Lucky hit in Shenmue 2. The best, the best, the best. I mean, we could just stop the episode right here. There's nothing better. There's no better way to gamble. Money matters in Shenmue, which I love. Uh, and, and you know, yeah, I think of that. I think of that quest where you stay at the the uh, motel, the lodge, whatever, and and the guy wants you to pay him. If you don't have enough money, he's like, "Yo, give me my money." You don't really have to pay him, but the game makes you feel bad anyway. Anyway, Lucky Hit is just a beautiful game, a very simple game. Uh, you just drop a ball. Down, down a board with pegs in it, and you try to land in uh, the corresponding slot. Uh, it, it's just great playing one-on-one -on -one with the NPCs. You know, sometimes they get smug, sometimes they get pissed, uh, and it's just engaging. You have that thrill, the the rush, the gambling rush of the ball dropping down one peg at a time. Ba 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 ba. I, you know, when you hit gold, when you hit gold in it, it's just a beautiful thing. And here's hoping that Shenmue 3 brings it back. You know, why don't, why don't we go Witcher style and have a standalone lucky hit game? Let's do that. Next up, we're talking about it. Gwent. Witcher 3. Gwent is beautiful. Gwent, first of all, had had its own uh, like musical score that was always a pleasure when you would when you would uh, battle someone in the game. But what makes Gwent stand out for me above a lot of these entries and and gambling in video games in general is the way it's tied into the world and the quests. Immediately, I think of the most legendary Gwent quest, Skellige. The, the Skellige deck, you know, you as Geralt, uh, it's just full of payoffs. You know, if you put the time into Gwent, there are payoffs. You can join underground tournaments. You can join bigger, more prestigious tournaments that are huge buy-ins. Uh, and you meet all these other interesting characters along the way. You're getting story, you're getting rewarded, but nothing's better than that Skellige deck when some Dwarves come to you from Skellige and 
They say, look, I was out on the raging seas, Geralt. My ship crashed or almost crashed and the gods spoke to me and they told me that you needed to make a Skellige deck. So I did. But all these, these Gwent players, all these pros and these old veterans, they refused to acknowledge me and acknowledge my deck. Geralt, please use this deck in the tournament and win with it so that they acknowledge me. Just emo emotions, you know? Again, this is all optional, like so many things in The Witcher are, uh, and it was one of the most emotional, kind of out of nowhere quests in the game uh, for seemingly just, just gambling. Next on the list, I never pass up an opportunity to talk about Dragon Quest Eight. Dragon Quest Eleven, where are you? Where are you? You're already out in Japan. Give me those English subs. Anything. I'll do anything. I will make a blood sacrifice right now if you just give me subtitles in Dragon Quest Eleven so I can bring it over here. Gambling in Dragon Quest Eight. First of all, one of my all-time favorite economies. Huber Origins. Huber Hype. Talking about economies. Dragon Quest Eight on that episode. Money, you want to talk about money in video games that matters, that is Dragon Quest VIII. Of course you can be, you can be scum and you can save scum this if you want to, but where's the fun in that? You gotta let it ride on bingo. Yeah, you heard me. Bingo is in this game, hosted by a heel slime, so jolly. Uh, there's also slots and roulette. And it's all about the aesthetic, of course, that Dragon Quest VIII jolly aesthetic, uh, you know. If there was a casino like this, I might have another addiction, so thankfully there isn't. <laughs> but what, what else is great is that the prizes are worth it. Uh, you can get Jessica's strongest weapon in the game, her whip. Uh, you, can get, you can earn her strongest whip in the game. Uh, and you can earn one of the best armors in the game, the liquid metal armor, which uh, you can fuse into the metal king armor. I think there's only like one or two possibilities to make that armor. It's one of the best in the games. If you're not gonna go the story route, like the Witcher, having meaningful rewards from gambling, from putting the time in, uh, is the way to do it. And lastly, Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption 2 when when Rockstar. Let it cook, let it cook. Let Red Dead 2 cook, I'm fine. You know? It's crazy how little they've shown us. Oh, they're torturing us. <laughs> There's torture. That, I would have rather not even seen that one teaser from a few months back. Ugh. Oh. Still waiting on that gameplay trailer. I'm getting off topic. Anyway, Red Dead Redemption, first of all, what better setting is there for poker than the Old West? Bottom line, you walk into a saloon, you sit down and play cards with a six shooter on your hip? That's the Old West right there. That's what I think of. So there were a ton of games to play. There was blackjack, there was five finger filet, there was poker. Again, like Dragon Quest, you could earn meaningful rewards. You could earn uh, some pieces of the, the armor set, the, the outfit, I mean. Uh, but also you could go online. You could play poker online against other people. And that was something special. That was really cool. Uh, just living out this fantasy of being uh, in the Old West. You know, it's not all train robberies and, and bank heists. It's, it's poker as well and, and gambling and the spirit of gambling really came through with Red Dead Redemption. That's gonna do it for the episode. Uh, if you like to gamble in real life or in video games, let me know. We can talk about it. 11 a.m. on Saturday, twitch.tv slash Easy Allies. We are Easy Allies. You can follow us on Patreon, YouTube, all the social medias. We have a website, easyallies.com, where you can find all of our stuff. Uh, and that's gonna be it. So I will see you next week and hopefully one of these weeks we get that Red Dead trailer.
time for the syndrome. This one is out of left field, I know, but I'm thinking about gambling. I'm thinking about the horse track. I'm thinking about putting some money on some ponies, but I'm also thinking about robbing the joint. Check out Stanley Kubrick's film noir, The Killing. <laughs>